Hello everybody, welcome back to this week's writing prompts. I um, hope you are all well. Um, this week we're going to be having a look um, at adverts. So adverts are persuading people that they really need to buy your product and the product we're going to be look at, looking at is one that was introduced back in 1977 and it's the Apple II personal computer. Um, the first computer that was really designed for the home market although it was also used in schools and other places as well. But before we look at the product itself, um, I would like you to have a think about um, the people you'll be selling this product to. Um, and I need to take you back for that, right back to 1977 to get some idea about what life was like then. Um, I was alive in 1977. Um, in fact, I was about in year eight. Um, and I can tell you that uh, we definitely didn't have any computers at home, no iPads, um, no laptops, no, uh, no PCs. There weren't even any at school. So um, my teachers didn't use um, um, didn't use computers and we never had computing lessons. So it was all a bit new. I don't know if you can imagine what life would be like today without any um, computing devices. So no games, consoles, no mobiles, um, say no, no laptops. A um, bit of a strange, um, strange idea. But see if you can get yourself back into that mindset and think about how amazing it would be to do some of the things that we can we now take for granted. OK, um, so now we need to have a little look about what this um, what this computer could do. Um, and to do that, I've put a link um, onto the prompt, uh, which will take you to um, a, a document which tells you all about the um, product. But the bit I'd like you particularly to have a look at um, is one of the creators of Apple, um, Steve Wozniak, the first um, video in that link, which tells you, um, uh, which gives you his take on what was particularly amazing about this product. Um, and what I'd like you to do is to make some notes about those amazing features, particularly as he gets through the uh, video about what the firsts were, what were the, the new, we, today we call it a unique selling point, a USP, that is going to help you sell the product. OK, so I hope you've collected some ideas for the amazing features of the Apple II. Um, it doesn't really matter what format you've got them in at the moment. Um, what I'd like you to do um, in a moment is to pause the video here and then just have a look at your list and put a bit of a star or highlight, maybe two or three of the features that you think are going to be the main selling points um, for the computer. Think about who you're selling to. Is it going to be to a homeowner? Is it going to be to um, a school? Um, which are the main features that you want to highlight? So these are the notes that I made from the Steve Wozniak clip. Um, you'll notice that I've used bullet points because I find that an easy way to try and organise my thoughts. But if you've used a spider diagram or you've just uh, written things down um, randomly on your paper, that is fine. Uh, whatever works for you. Hopefully you've got some of these um, points. So it's a fairly cheap machine. Um, it's got um, the programming is included. So some of the other earlier machines, you had to do the programming yourself. Um, and I think one of the key features, which sort of all of this is covered, is it's just ready to go. It's got a plastic case. Again, previous ones, you've just got given the um, the internal circuit boards. Not you didn't it didn't come in a case. Um, and so you can just plug it plug it in and off you go. It's fully assembled. So that's important. Um, the memory, the RAM is included. You don't have to have a separate um, board to, to put in that. It was the first um, um, PC to use colour, sound, graphics and high resolution. And all these things were built in as standard. Um, and I think that's really what I want to... So it's got all of these features as standard. So you've got one box in its little fancy new plastic case that is going to do everything. And I think that's what I'm going to choose to be my um, the main thrust of my advert, that you can just pick up this box and start um, whatever you want to do with it immediately. And that is new and exciting. Of course, you could pick um, on some different features that you are particularly wanting to highlight. You might want to pick um, up on the colour and the graphics and how that makes games much more exciting. And in fact, games were some of the things that were um, built in as um, add-ons for the um, Apple II. Um, in fact, I think the Apple II was the first um, machine eventually to um, incorporate spreadsheets. 
So think of all the things you could do with a spreadsheet. So if you're trying to run a business from home or those sorts of things, you could pick up on that sort of things, whatever um, features you think are what you want to highlight. Um, so now, before we actually go and do our, um, our advert, um, it might be worth just having a quick look um, at some of the actual adverts that were there at the time. See what they've picked up on and maybe you can adjust your ideas accordingly. This is what I've got when I put in Apple II adverts um, into Google. Um, so hopefully you can see that there's a quite a big range of adverts that Apple actually did themselves. Um, so either pause the video and have a look at the ones on the screen or go and do your own search. And I'm going to pick out one or two that I'd like to highlight. The first one is an advert which is aimed at teachers and schools buying Apple computers. Um, you'll notice that it has got um, a headline, it's got some subheadings, it's got a logo at the bottom and it's talking about why it makes a great computer for schools and that students and teachers alike love it. The second one I'm going to show you is one aimed at a business person really. Again it's got a headline, it's gives you some practical details as well, so where you can get your computer from. It uses some of those key advertising techniques, so don't wait for it, you need it now to make yourself more effective to try and persuade your audience that they really do need to go and buy an Apple right now. Okay, have a look at this one. This is quite different in its style. It's black and white, it's got an enormous great big headline, which doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to start with, Apples make great carrots, what's that about? And then there's a picture uh, which really displays the product very clearly. And this is obviously a writing task, but please do feel free to use some pictures as well, as long as they are helping sell your product. The purpose of that headline is to hopefully to make the reader um, read on, to find out more. Um, and if you look at the writing underneath, it starts with a really good question, which is talking directly to your audience. It says, When's the last time you came across a business machine that gets people more excited than a trip to Acapulco or a colour TV? Remember, in those days, a colour TV was quite exciting. But it, you notice it's, it's, immediate, it's grabbing your attention and making you want to read on. So that's a technique you could use um, for your advert. Hopefully you've now got some ideas about how you'd like your advert to look, what your audience is going to be and what features you're going to be promoting in particular. So I suggest you spend a couple of minutes um, with a piece of paper just planning out um, what your advert is going to be looking like. I would suggest it needs to be no more than um, a page. Um, obviously, if you're putting this in a newspaper, it would cost money to put the advert in. So it needs to be striking. You don't have to have lots of words, but there is a writing task. So have a go. Pause the video here and restart it when you've got a bit of a plan and then we can share notes. OK, so this is my plan for the Apple advert. Let's have a look at each individual bit. I'm going to start off with the heading, which will obviously be much bolder when I come to do the final thing. I think it might be a bit wordy still, but the general gist is I'm wanting to get um, that an Apple covers all your family's computing needs. So I've definitely decided that my audience is going to be families, um, particularly the people who are going to be buying, um, spending the money, likely to be the mums and dads um, in a family. Um, I'm then going to have, I think, a picture of the product. Um, really important to get that product recognition, so having a really big, clear picture in the middle I think will be helpful. And then on one side of the picture I'm going to have some of the reasons why I think parents would want to buy the Apple. So if they might want to be running a business from home um, or working from home, um, looking at their family finances or just relaxing at the end of the day. Um, some of the features I'm going to be concentrating on are the power it gives you, that it covers all the things you might need to do, and that it's flexible. On the other side, um, for the children, for the kids, um, again, because the grown-ups are likely to be the ones paying for it, I put schoolwork first, so it's going to be good for their education, um, but also great for games um, and a, a fun thing to be able to do. And because of that fun nature, I want to bring out those features so that it's in colour, that there's sound attached and there's graphics to go and make it much more exciting to use. For everybody, um, these main features, it's easy to use. One box does it all. Simply plug in and you're ready to go with all these amazing features built in as standard. 
if you remember when I was looking at the features, that was what I decided I wanted to concentrate on, that um, th one of the new things about this computer was it was all built in, everything was standard and it's all ready to go. And hopefully that little paragraph explains that. Underneath that, I would have all the sort of nitty gritty detail. So where you can get your Apple, um, any sort of terms and conditions, all that sort of thing that you normally see on the bottom of adverts. Um, and um, a logo, really good for sort of product placement and remembering where you're getting your products from. Um, have a look at that Apple logo on the um, 1977 um, adverts. How is that different from Apple logos today? See what you can spot. I think it's still recognisable um, from um, even from that long ago, although the um, 1977 one is a bit more colourful, I think. OK, so that's my plan. Um, hopefully you've got a plan. Um, if you want to magpie anything from mine, feel free. Otherwise, just need to get on and do the finished article. Obviously make it as striking as you can. It needs to grab the attention, hopefully make people want to go away and buy the amazing Apple II. Um, look forward to seeing your finished um, products. Do send them in, please, for us to have a look at at english at oakfieldacademy.org. Really look forward to seeing them all. Happy writing and see you next week for some more writing tasks. Bye.